Hello guys, uh, I hope ke, I hope you all are uh, all are fine. So today we are going to make a custom exercise stream IP, which will talk with the which will uh, communicate with the processor to the DMA, right? So as you all know, processor cannot directly access uh, cannot directly with the very well. So with the help of uh, DMA controller, it will talk. So we are making the making a custom IP, which will uh, communicate with the processor, which will read and write the data with the help of DMA controller. So we are making, uh, we are going to make uh, a stream interface IP Okay, guys, so I'm going to share my regard to the screen. So as you can see here, I'm going to create a new project. Uh, so I'm going to create new very large project. Okay, guys, so we are going to make uh, an IP to the very large. Create files. Let's take uh, this right name. Let's give some name called data. Data. Each data in what is in the world. Okay. So this is the very log, very log file. Now we are going to put. Okay, guys. So here we have to write some posts. Since we are going to create XI stream interface, so there will be the XI slave interface, interface, interface and then there will be the XI, yes, master interface. Okay, so this is the XI, yes. So it's the first one. So, so yes <clears throat> so it will have some ports let's so, uh, slave interface will have the input xis uh, uh, xis pilot signal input there will be the data some uh, xis data signal and another of the output signal xis okay, so here we are x colon so xi master interface there will be the output signal output xis valid signal So these are the slaves. Okay, so we have to write here slave data and the slave the very signal. Okay, so these are the master port. So we are going to write master validate output M data signal master is if ready. The master is ready to send the data or not. So there will be the input. Input M ready signal. 
Guys, these are the master and slave interface course and the common interface in Google Drive. Work. Work signal. Exit work signal and enter with the input. Search. Signal. So I am writing the code in a standard way. So these are the port. Let's suppose suppose we are writing the data byte by byte. So what we can do here the seven down to zero that is eight bytes, right? Eight bit of the data we are writing and reading seven down to zero. So what if we want to make it parameterizable? So for this we have to write here parameter data width. Guys, so let's suppose we are doing the data with 32. Data with is 32. Okay. So data with is the 32 and this is the end. So now we are going to so we are going to first of all we are going now what we are going to do is First of all, we are going to write the query signal always. Input which is so when we have to write the data, right? If if s axis axis valid signal is high and s axis ready signal signal is high we can this is end then we will write the data so we are writing the data to master those m x y s data Seven down to byte by byte, we are writing seven down to zero. Let's turn it on to uh, let's suppose we are writing the data from 255 bits. <coughs> from 255 bits, let's suppose we are writing 255, we are writing the lower bit. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Data is seven down to zero. In this way, we will will copy it. Okay, non register. So we are using the next data and the next box so we need to define it as a race and size is valid signal and so we also need to run it. Procedure block so I have to just copy this and paste four times right guys. So this is the seven down to zero and this is the fifteen down to eight and fifteen down to eight okay guys fifteen down to eight years so angle will be the sixteen uh, 16 since we are writing 8 bit at a time, 23 down to 16 and there will be 41 down to 24. Nice. So this is done. Okay, guys. So this is for one way. Since we are using the parameterizable data, right? so here you have to write data width. Data width minus one. Right? Data width. So 
So if you define the constant, then you, you can write like this. But here we are going to use, we need to write this code uh, like this. But here we are going to use the for loop, right? So we connected out this block. So we are going to use uh, one way of writing. This is second way. Second way we are going to use for so far, as you know, we will follow this work and say in C language, right? Like C is equal to zero. Since we are going to write the data width, that is four times it is happening, right? So we have 32 bit. That means data width divided by eight. That means four times. We'll be writing four byte of the data is one. So this is the way. Again, so we have to remove this. So we have not declared the i. So we can declare. As we have declared the I now, we need to write here. So, axis, axis data, and axis data as you write in the software code I into 8 plus 7, 11, I into 8. This is the way how we write, right? So s axis to 55 minus s axis data. So into eight plus seven. Like this. In this way, we write, but some people I use not the constant. I use not a constant. Constant expression. Okay. So it's So this is not synthesizing your guys in this way. It's not synthesizing. This data I into it. So we plus minus S axis. So in this way, the code is synthesizable. We will write write like this. This is not
emphasize on both you guys. So here, you know, as you can see, m axis data into a plus colon equal to a. That means for uh, from how many bits the upper bit is higher than the lower bit. So this is defining here. You can see eight bit, right? Of eight bit, uh, MSB is the eight bit higher than the LSB. That means the MSB is eight bit higher than the LSB. Okay, guys. So in this way you can write the problem. So here we are. Here we have defined. This for loop will run four times. Four times data will be completed. So this is the for loop. Now we are going to write the another of this block. Always add the root. So, since we are going to look, when the master has to be ready, right? So, we have to define the master file system and access valid when it will be valid. So when the slave is valid, when the x axis is valid and as axis is ready, when the slave is valid and ready, then the master is valid. Yes. So master will be the valid now. Now we are going to define another when x is ready. So when will be the slave ready? When the master is ready, then the slave will be the ready. Right? So in, what we have to do is we can just write slave ready signal so we can sign. Find M axis. So here is uh, you can see whenever the master is ready, whenever the master is ready, right? Master is ready, then the slave is ready. Slave is ready to accept the data from the processor, right? The DMA. Whenever the master is ready to send the data because they are. We do not have any internal buffer, so whenever the master is ready, then the slave is ready to accept that. Okay. So this way we have written the code. So now we have right. so must have done. So we are going to simulate the design. And so guys, now we are going to simulate our design. So we are going to simulate it. If everything's fine, then we will type. Simulation. Okay, so here we have going to give some clock signal. Clock signal, ten dollars a second. Ten given. We said let's make this particular signal. So, 
things we are not using the receive signal. Let's make value signal is load the data. Data is zero. Data. Data is the target right? Is this access data is an Since we change, so here you can see there is 28, right? Because there is parameterized. So I'm going to give clock. Zero one that is ten minutes. Let's take let's turn so it's valid signal. So we are making it zero initially. Data let's keep the data as well. Zero two bytes, three bytes, four bytes, right? And from this eight byte of the data. So let's access the valid. Let's make my stories initially. Very similar. Let's make initially here. Okay, guys. So I'm going to run for 10 nanoseconds. So I run for 10 nanoseconds. Base. as you can see here clock by clock okay. so here initially our the uh, valid signal is low and ready signal is low whenever the valid and ready is goes high then only data this data will be returned into the access data so for this let's make slave axis is valid Right. Still, you won't get the any data on the next slide because slave is not ready. Yet. So, uh, slave will ready whenever the master is ready to send the data. So, I have to make the master slaves to time then. Okay. Let's go stop it. Here, the master is ready. Ready, and this is the value signal. Right. Value signal in M axis valid. So M axis valid uh, will be high. M axis valid will be
axis. Uh, so guys, uh, here we are simulating our design, right? Uh, so we are in the simulation phase. So I am simulating this design. It's a mistake. The design have not provided a lens. I understand that. Okay, so that's why it was running. Let's read on this design. <coughs> Let's read on in the design. It's not for the coming from the processors of the masters open of the matches magic signal. That's signal is slave is ready when the master. It's ready, okay. Slave is accelerated and the master will also generate the direct signal. So master is master access the signal. So let's run it for 10 times again. So now we are going to change the slave is less. So slave is ready <coughs> to access the data. And we are giving the data effects and okay, guys. So slave is ready, and here you can see. Here you can see the balance signal is high, and the, in the slave is in slave post, there is a data. But it has been sent to the master because master is not ready. So let's make master is ready. Master, when we make the master ready, then the slave signal is will also ready for to accept the data. And master's signal will be generated. So here you can see, right? Here you can see the. So, uh, Slave is ready and the valid signal, and then it is import. It has imported data. Right. So we are uh, we are decrementing from two to five. That is, this is importing. So let's suppose uh, you are looking at the data, and the data like. Yes, we are even here. It's perhaps zero at zero. We might have zero. So, guys, here you can see we are just inviting the data. So, if the slave is not valid, slave is not valid, then the master will keep the data. This previous data. Okay, so this is done. Right now, we are going to make the IP. IP of this. IP of this code. Since I have explained how to generate the custom IP, custom IP, right? But here we are generating the IP from this without to transfer the code. So transfer the code. What we need to do, you have to just you have to just to go on tools. Just go on tools, guys. So create and package new IP. Now click on these options. Now click on the next. We have to package your current project. Right? We need to because we are going to package this variable uh, code in the IP. So include the XCIA IP generated, input IP generated by XCIA. Right? 
say if I access IP location will be <coughs> so IP location will be here source so IP location will be there. So yes, copy it. Let's uh, so I have to change the IP location. So to change it, let's make folders in your terms. So we are going to save I can this location source file will be copied to the indicated IP location directory and editing code. So we are going to finish it. So guys, as you can see here, uh, the IP is here in the link. Let's go to description and go down. Right. So here you can see the dot XML file. Now the important thing you need to notice here is that is a course interface, code interface. Okay, in the GUI you can see this kind of GUI you are But in the stream uh, access interface, uh, you will see the one port. Inside the one port, all the signal, all the signal is encapsulated. But here, yes, all the bits are, all the, all the ports are separate. So how we can So you can do it by just need to go to this interface. Okay, so you need to go here. You need to give a name. Let's suppose there is yes access. Definition you need to choose it from here. To choose its interface, stream interface.
So now we are going to float maps. So we have access. So we are going to access memory map interface. We are going to dimension. So as you can see, access system interface. But in the memory map interface, there are so many, so many ports over here, right? These are so many ports over here. Access and memory map access interface. We are using this. So I it. Port mapping. We are going to map to actually actually it's I can use this is standard signal name and this is our port. We are going to map this port with our physical port, right? So we are going to map first of all data signal with the MHC data. Map it and Two valid signal, that's valid signal map it, two ready signal in and axis ready signal map it. So just click on OK. So now you will be able to see here inside this and axis port there are the all the signal. Right? So again we are going to Map our slave interface. So name will be this axis. Okay. So this is the slave interface. Map it. Port mapping. It's definition. Definition guys, put my pen. So, data is S axis data. So you can see what is still zooming. So I need to click on. Now we have added 
this to slip. Now oh, still you are, uh, you can see here there is a warning. So this is address memory map because this is the point to point communication. So there is no addressing to see where any address. So clock mapping you need to go here. So you have to provide the clock. Click on it. Click on it. Write some parameters. Add parameters. 